Now the new unicorn continues with Bailey's Alutech body shell construction, so very strong and very durable. The sides are hard wearing GRP. And speaking about those sidewalls, check out the fetching new graphics scheme. Yes, the B has been shrunk slightly and there's a new color gradient introduced at the back. Another little thing of note at the front is an improvement in the decor too. Look at the A-frame fairing, it gets a very good black cover. And keeping up with the black theme, the massive picture window is retained. And instead of a sticker, you now get another plastic panel above each side, which looks very fetching indeed. Now, if you excuse me, I'm literally gonna jump right through the lounge window and take a look inside. Now, as everybody knows, Valencia is a four berth with a French bed at the rear and an end washroom. Up front, we have parallel sofas as you would expect. We'll talk about the bed in a minute, but before that, let's just talk about this amazing new lounge. You can see the eucalyptus wood finish with these high gloss locker facings. And look at this action, very smooth indeed, like something you'd find in a continental caravan and no positive catches. So no broken fingernails when you're basically getting things out of those lockers. Another cool feature is this radio behind this locker door. It's not any old radio though, no, it is actually DAB and it has Bluetooth connectivity for smartphones and tablets. And check out the speakers, they face into the lounge rather than downwards, so you can crank up your tunes to your heart's content. Now the twin lounge sofas are 5% longer than the previous version. How has Bailey done this, you may ask? Well, thanks to the Herculean strength of the Alutec body shell construction system, they've been able to remove the bulkhead at the front, and that means a longer seat bench on both sides. Now the parallel lounge sofas obviously make up into a very handy guest bed, and it does this very easily by pulling out the slats on a rope from under the center chest. All you need to do then is arrange the cushions. The two biggest ones go in the middle and these backrests go down the side. All very comfortable and quick to make up and pack away. But it's not the best bed in this van by any means. And here it is, the main event. Yes, the French bed in the Valencia. Bailey has certainly been busy lengthening things and the bed is no exception. Six feet, four inches, absolutely fantastic. Now for anyone out there that thinks a fixed bed is a waste of space and you're just basically transporting things around for no reason, then I challenge you, have a lie on this and see what you think afterwards. And the other advantage to having a French bed, of course, is the voluminous storage space underneath. Here, easily accessed via a gas strut. Now you can load items from inside the van or outside, thanks to a handy hatch. And talking about storage while we're here, we have a full length wardrobe and opposite that, a pair of overhead lockers, plus a couple of cubbies in the corner. And look at the LED lights above the bed. They also have those USB sockets and thoughtfully, Bailey has included a couple of shelves so you can charge your devices while you're nodding off to sleep. Now lurking behind the French bed, you'll find this rather pleasing end washroom, the ultimate in comfort and convenience for many buyers. Now the look in here is certainly very interesting. Danish minimal, I think they call it. Look at this long mirror and this shelf for sticking lotions and potions when the van is stationary. There's also a preponderance of hooks, two here and two here. Now, where's the toothbrush holder you're thinking? Is it next to that rather smart looking oval sink? No, in actual fact, you'll find it here in this locker. So a spectacular solution for keeping things neat and tidy. Well done, Bailey. Now on the other side of the washroom, you'll find this rather delectable shower compartment and it's got two rather good features. There's a handy rail that comes down from the roof here for drying wet clothes and also a caddy for lotions and potions that hooks around the shower attachment. Elsewhere in the washroom, you'll find this handy laundry basket and there's no towel rail. Instead, you get a radiator to keep this space warm and toasty. Now the Valencia's kitchen has seen another series of upgrades. There's a 30% increase in food preparation space by basically adding this wooden board on top of a conventional lid. And that works very nicely indeed. Aesthetic touches at the back include this splashback, very fetching indeed. Equipment wise, you have a separate oven and grill, a microwave oven, and on this side of the vehicle, the Duriger skinny fridge. And another clever design detail is the way Bailey has changed the orientation of the two plug sockets so you never get any cable foul. And next to the sockets, you can increase the worktop space even further with this handy flap, very good indeed. Under the sink, you'll find a couple of soft closing drawers, a very elegant solution. 
Now we haven't had the prices and weights for the Bailey Unicorn 4 Valencia so far, but it's safe to assume that if the current version is just under 1500 kilograms all up, then this new one will be slightly lighter. Now price-wise, the current version retails for £22,399. It's safe to assume that with all these goodies and improvements that the price will rise, but Bailey was being pretty coy and wouldn't tell us how much. Now one thing that's quite interesting is that while many Bailey rivals are dropping this layout from their portfolios, Valencia is in fact the second best seller in the Unicorn range, and on this evidence I can't see that changing anytime soon.